After press conference Vegas shooting victim reveals horrifying new element of the attack, fed silent. The Las Vegas shooting massacre was a tragedy all across the country. As the deadliest mass shooting in American history, it hurt the hearts of many Americans. So many were killed and even quadruple that number were injured. While both sides of the political aisle have politicized this issue one victim of the massacre made a scary revelation that will make you look at this massacre a little bit differently. One gentleman who was a victim of the Las Vegas shooting was Rocky Palermo who posted a video to social media and YouTube about the horrific attack. During his video, he admits that he feels there were multiple shooters in collusion with one another because the concert gates were locked. When people were running out of the concern he says law enforcement officers were telling concert goers who were scared for their lives to go in the opposite direction. Palermo has done several interviews since the attack and has been a vocal advocate. He appeared on the blast where he made some rather shocking comments. None of them have been substantiated by law enforcement officials or authorities conducting the investigation. No other victims have come forward to verify the veracity of these allegations either. In his interview with a reporter he said, I definitely do believe that there was 100% more than one shooter, every other person that I've talked to that did unfortunately get hit as well, have all said the same things. I'm waiting and all of a sudden we hear a little whizzing going by us, all of a sudden bullets are just flying by. When something is coming up and down or at least from a different angle they are either going to hit the ground or a lot of different things are going to happen. When someone is shooting from a horizontal line it's just going to keep shooting. He also went on to explain he heard shots from about 200 yards away and he hid behind a car to try and stay away from it. Unfortunately, he said he could hear bullets flying past him. He says that he was at ground level which means he is also alleging another shooter was at the ground level too. Palermo went on to say that the shots seemed to become closer and closer before he started running again. Look at the video Palermo posted online here. He said. Every other night at the concert, everybody kinda exited right off Las Vegas Boulevard, that was standard, that was routine, you get out of the concert and you go down to the next casino. At 10 p.m. they closed every exit on Las Vegas Boulevard, every single one. They gated them all closed with chain link fences, 10.08 the shooting started and we were pigs sitting in a corral. We only had one exit to go out of dot 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 everyone was just kinda of following the sheep. The same exits we had came in and left Friday and Saturday night were definitely closed. There were people that went over there and tried to leave and there were cops that were telling them no, you can't go out here you have to go the other way. This story is also in competition with the chronology given by the sheriff and the police department in Las Vegas. Both agencies have given three different chronologies of the events that took place that night but two of them have been recanted and changed. Leaving many people to believe they cannot trust this latest chronology. Palermo's story also seems to throw a wrench into the latest chronology. Surely if every victim spoke to law enforcement they would all have different accounts of the massacre that took place that night. Palermo had been discussed in a Turn to 23 article where they said. A local man credits his recent EMT training for his ability to help save lives during the shooting in Las Vegas. Sheriff Search and Rescue member Howie Long and his wife Jennifer helped to treat wounded concert goers. When we got to the emergency room. The nurses were so busy with people in the back with people who were worse off there was nobody in the waiting room that knew what to do, so me and Jennifer kind of took over the waiting room and was saying put that there and we need this. Just kind of had a little order in there instead of everybody running around not knowing what to do. He helped treat 31-year-old Rocky Palermo who was shot in his side. While Howie treated him, Jennifer helped by speaking to his parents. And then we just continued. If someone came we gave them gloves, whoever wasn't hit was available. I just told them put your gloves on and here's some towels, Jennifer said. Howie has been with search and rescue for seven years and just received his EMT training last year. It is in times of tragedy that we see true acts of humanity and kindness occur in the Las Vegas massacre is no exception. We are lucky to have such amazing Americans who would sacrifice their life and help another fellow American in need, and in need.